Apart from Mumbai Indians, which IPL team would you like? What is more challenging, being an opener or captain in the team? Every now and then, uh, you know, enjoying yourself is not a bad thing. Just to relax yourself and be a party starter. You're one of the most successful captains of IPL. You've captained Mumbai Indians since 2013, led them to victories. Uh, you, you took uh, captaincy from Ricky Ponting mid-season, you know. Yeah. Uh, tell us about that whole incident, you know. When did you first hear the news? How did you take it? Because there was this enormous responsibility uh, that was thrown, I mean, that was given to you, but, you know, kind of mid-season. When Ricky was appointed as the captain, uh, you know, and I was appointed uh, the vice captain, Mm. Um, I knew at some stage I would have to captain, you know, okay. because of whatever injury might happen to uh, yeah. a player, you know, and you might have to replace him. Uh, so I was always prepared. I always went into the game thinking that if what if I was the captain? I, I remember it was uh, in Kolkata. Mm. A, uh, I think we must have played about six games and we lost three. We won three. Mm. So we were in the midst of everything. Mm. Uh, and that's when Ricky Ponting decided that he wants to step down as a captain and let someone else take the place. And yes, I was ready, but it came uh, during the match day. Like mm. we were, uh, the game starts at eight o'clock and we leave for the uh, game at six o'clock. Yeah. And I was told in the afternoon that you know you will yeah. be leading the side. What was your reaction? I was How very happy. I called my parents and, and I called Ritika uh, yeah. and I spoke to them at length about uh, you know how this was one of my dream actually when i went in with the team sheet for the toss yeah. i was a little nervous because you know i have a tendency of forgetting so all i was thinking <laughs> that i shouldn't forget my teammates names okay. you know when I, uh, the commentator or the guy who's uh, yeah. asking for the team changes and all that i shouldn't forget any names yeah uh, but that was the only thing but yes i think everything went really well in that game we won the game hmm. and uh, that particular year, we finished the finals at that ground as well, mm. in that ground as well. And we won the finals there. So, a very uh, happy hunting ground for me. Talking about IPL, congratulations on winning your first match. Uh, 94 out of 52 balls, uh, fantastic innings there. How pumped up are you and the team now uh, for the IPL and the upcoming matches? I don't think as a team we played bad cricket. We played good cricket, just that certain areas uh, we didn't do we didn't do well mm. and uh, it was not we were not consistent in both departments uh, batting and bowling so. and it was at Vankhede and there's always a lot of expectations from yeah, Mumbai Indians Vankhede is like really well at that ground and people expect a lot every time we go out there what's the most challenging part about the IPL format you know of course uh, keeping in mind that constantly players keep changing every year uh, you've got a very busy calendar yeah. and then you're handling a multinational team what, what do you think is the most challenging part? There are a few challenging parts when you're leading an IPL, uh, IPL team. Uh, firstly, the players from the different countries, different cities who come and play together. Because you're not used to those guys. Uh, you don't know what they like, exactly. what they don't yeah. like. Uh, so the first thing as a captain for me is to understand each one of them mm -hmm. as to uh, how they behave, what kind of things they like to do on the field and what do they don't like. You know, it is very important for a captain to understand that. Yeah. Uh, and then, after this losses, to make sure that everyone stays together. Mm. It's the most important thing as well. Uh, it's very easy to drift away when you're losing, you know, start blaming each other yeah. uh, for the loss. But I think we don't, we don't do that. And as a captain, it, it is my uh, responsibility to make sure that thing doesn't happen. And of course, the, you know, the expectations from the owners, franchise owners, yeah you know, to handle that as well because, mm. you know, our owners, they are so passionate about the game mm. and they love what they do with the team and they love uh, and they take so much interest in the team yeah. only because they love the sport and they are so passionate about the game. So, every time we go out there, we want to bring smile to their yeah. faces, yeah. you know, we want to make sure that we do ju justice to this team and also the people here in Mumbai, you know, they, Mumbai is known for their cricket, uh, yeah. Mumbai has a history, huge history. Uh, so, yeah, it's a cricket uh, crazy city, uh, you know, so everything we do here, we do it for them. All right, on that note, it's time for us to take another short break. But don't go anywhere, as on the other side, we find out if Rohit Sharma hooks or ducks are rapid fire bouncers, so stay tuned. 
Welcome back. You're watching CNBC TV 18 Weekend. We're in conversation with ace batsman Rohit Sharma with your fondly called the hitman uh, for your explosive performance on field. And this has obviously translated into a lot of brand endorsements. You know, when you choose a particular brand, what is the brand philosophy? What do you look for in it? It's just not about going there and endorsing uh, any product which you have not even seen it. Yeah. You know, that doesn't yeah. make any sense to me. I associate with a brand which is, you know, I personally I use it, hmm. and I can then tell people that, okay, you know, I use it, so I want you all to experience the same. Let's talk about your better half. You know, cricket is one half and then you have Ritika. Uh, it's, it's a love story where best friends turn soulmates, I believe. Yeah. So, you know, uh, she, she's your sporting manager, she's your manager and of course your wife. So, I want to know how does this partnership work? We've seen you making partnerships with a lot of batsmen and your team there. How does this partnership work? No, I think it is one of the best partnership that I've had. Yeah. Uh, uh, the best I would say because mm. you know whatever I am today is mostly because of her uh, since I got married my life has changed completely uh, how much of her advice do you really take uh, most of it and what does she advise you on uh, a lot many things except cricket she talks to me about everything and okay. I do listen to her because uh, you know it, it goes hand in hand our partnership goes hand in hand and uh, yeah, see, she, we know each other for a long, long time now. So, yeah. we understand each other really well. And uh, it's the best thing that has happened to me uh, in so many years. All right, Rohit. Now, you know, everyone knows about your prowess on pitch. Uh, but you also make sure to bring your A game when, uh, when, you know, when it comes to style. You recently won the Sporting Elegance title at the GQ Awards uh, 2018. What yeah. is your style mantra? Less is more. Okay. For me, that is... The most important, don't do, don't overdo it, mm -hmm. because sometimes you can make a fool out of yourself trying yeah. to copy someone or trying to look that okay, this guy is doing this, I should try and do that as well. Mm -hmm. You should understand yourself first, what mm -hmm. person, what kind of a personality you have, and uh, you know, take take the game accordingly. Yeah. So, how do you really balance work and life? You know, with your constant tours and traveling, do you get enough time for family? It's very hard to say that I have to make time for my family. Yeah. It's very hard to say that, but honestly speaking, for the few last few years, it has been the case. Mm. Uh, you know, we've been on the road for a long, long time. Yeah. Whatever time I get, I try and make sure that I spend time with them, because it is. You know, I mm. I know for the fact that even if I don't have any supporters, I will have my family as my supporters. So. You know, yes. so that is one thing uh, 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 which is always with me. And then, yes, family is the most important thing at the end of the day. Well said, Rohit. Now, you know, we come to the fun part of the interview, the rapid fire. So, brace yourself. We expect uh, answers to be rapid and uh, expect a lot of fire. Yeah. Um, all right. So, my first question. What is more challenging, being an opener or captaining the team? Captaining the team. Okay. Apart from M Mumbai Indians, which IPL team would you like to captain? Eden Garden is my favorite ground. Okay. So and lot lot has happened at Eden Garden for me. Hmm. So I would say KKR. KKR. All right. Test one day or 2020 your favorite? I think all three formats. We already know about the three double centuries that you've made. Have you played gully cricket? Which I'm sure a lot yeah, of yeah. everyone yes. in India has played gully cricket. Yes. What's your highest gully cricket score? We want to know. And how many windows did you play? I've broken a lot of windows. Yeah. 400 plus, but I don't know the exact score, but I know it was 400 because uh, every time you score a hundred, you take a round and show it to everyone. So I remember <laughs> I took four rounds. Wow. That's how I remember it was 400. Yeah. A baller Rohit Sharma fears the most. Not fears. I would put challenge. Okay. Challenges me yeah, the most. Challenges I would the say most. Dale Stain. Okay. Favorite cuisine. Japanese, Mexican. Okay. Favorite yeah. holiday destination. Europe. All right, most stylish cricketer, apart from you, of course. There are lots. Hmm. I mean, when I came into the team, I thought UV was the one who yeah. was leading the way. Hmm. Not anymore. Okay, <laughs> who's who's leading it now then? Uh, leading it now, all these uh, new guys, they're just, okay. uh, you know, uh, they're pretty good, yeah. A style trend you're currently obsessed with? My baseball cap, long line t-shirt and a jeans with sneaker. Batting first or chasing? What do you prefer? Batting first. Okay, most successful captain? I miss Dhoni. Okay, Only captain cool. Yeah, of course, yeah. Your cricket idol apart from Sachin Tendulkar? Ricky Ponting. Okay, if not cricket, then with sport, what would you have done? I would have played football, but I don't know how far I would have gone, but 
फुटबॉल पे है वेल डन यू हैंडल द रैपिड फायर प्री वेल माई फाइनल क्वेश्चन टू यू इन योर यू नो इलेवन ईयर्स ऑफ प्लेइंग इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट वॉट हेज बीन योर बिगेस्ट लर्निंग एंड ऑल्सो वॉट वुड यू एडवाइज टू द यंगर प्लेयर्स दैट कीप कमिंग इन दैट एवरी डे इज़ अ न्यू डे वॉट हेज हैपन इन द पास्ट फॉर्गेट इट और वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन द फ्यूचर फॉर्गेट इट लिव इन द प्रेजेंट बिकॉज आई नो आई स्कोर नाइन्टी फोर लास्ट नाइट बट आई हैव टू फॉर्गेट इट बिकॉज टूमोरो विल बी द न्यू डे एंड वी हैव टू विन दैट गेम सो दैट इज माई बिगेस्ट लर्निंग फ्रॉम दिस गेम सी फॉर फॉर द यंगर यंगर किड्स इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे नीड टू बी डिसिप्लिन इन वॉट एवर दे डू बिकॉज विदाउट डिसिप्लिन नथिंग विल कम सो ईजी इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर फिटनेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर टाइम मैनेजमेंट टूवर्ड्स द स्किल यू हैव टू बी डिसिप्लिन वेन यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव समथिंग यू हैव टू बी डिसिप्लिन और राइट डिसिप्लिन इज की Rohit, it was a pleasure talking to you. We wish you Same a very here. happy birthday in advance. Thank you so much. And all the best for IPL. With that, it's a wrap on this special edition of Weekender. Until next week, from the entire team, goodbye and many thanks for watching.